Today's video, I'm going to be comparing Coates and Clark cone thread in both the needle and the bobbin, and then this in the needle, and then bobbin thread in the bobbin to see if there's any appreciable difference between the stitching. What I have is some um, medium weight cotton interfaced, and I put wrong sides together just so we could see this so it's kind of it would be like top stitching just going to do a default center needle position 3.5 stitch length no a 2.5 stitch length Then I'm going to change the bobbin thread to the actual bobbin thread. It's noticeably thinner. And I did a strength test. I And it was a little stronger than the regular serger cone thread. Just by grabbing it and pulling it and see when it would snap just a little stronger, not tremendously stronger. This one was with Serger, Coates and Clark Serger cone thread for needle and bobbin. Here's the back side. Then this one is Coates and Clark thread for the needle and then the bobbin thread in the bobbin. Notice too much difference. Now the neat the bobbin thread was eight thousand meters for I think eight dollars. So it's fairly inexpensive. I'll have to use it in a a little bit more to see if there's any difference in it. I guess it's slightly better. And I'll just leave it slightly better. I'll have to try it on some knit fabric later.